let's talk about electrostatic induction. So we have these two spheres and they're both conducting spheres. Now, what does it mean to be conducting? Well, what that basically means is these spherical objects, the charges within them can move freely. And what we're trying to figure out is how we can separate the charges. Now, this is gonna be kind of hard to do because like charges repel each other opposite charges attract each other. So trying to separate these as they are would be a little bit difficult, but we can do this using something called electrostatic induction. A simple example of electrostatic induction is by taking a rod with a positive charge and bringing it close to the two spheres without touching them. What do you think is going to happen? My hypothesis would be that all the negative charges would gravitate towards the rod and all the positive charges would be repelled away. And that actually is what happens. But now that I have it in this state, I can take the two spheres and I can separate them and I can then get rid of this rod. And what that's going to do is leave me with a negatively charged sphere on the left side and a positively charged sphere on the right side. And since we got rid of the bridge between them, there's no way that these charges can jump back over to either side. So what we've done is we've separated the negative and positive charges using electrostatic induction.